Who are you? What's your story? I came to this island over a century ago, hiding from my creators, the Institute. But after my escape felt secured, I was left with nothing. No program task. No false memories. I spent a year just sitting in a cave. Just sitting. One day, it finally occurred that maybe I could decide for myself what to do, who I was. I've been doing that ever since. Was there anything else? I want to save before I save you this. You should know the Institute has been destroyed. What? It's over? No more coarser hunts? No more slavery? But that also means the technology to make the synths is lost. Our origins have been buried. Not to mention the loss of human life. Sorry. I'm not going to judge the actions of someone who's wiped out a great evil. You have our gratitude. Is there anything else you need? So everyone here in Acadia is a synth? Yes. Either they were escapees we managed to find before the Institute could, or they were victims of a mind wipe, and we revealed the truth to them. You are from the Commonwealth, like Kasumi, yes? I'm sure you've had your own experiences with my kind. I'd like to hear about your experiences first. After I left the Commonwealth, it was decades before I met another of my kind. At first, I didn't believe it. I'm a prototype. I escaped long before synths could pass for human. I thought the person I was talking to was deluded at first, and then I realized the truth. That we were the same. I didn't know it then, but that's when Acadia really started. This DLC starts to feel like the old world blues where it's just straight dialogue, but it's interesting. I've been impressed with the sense I've come across. That's good to hear. I hope your opinion of us only continues to get better. Now, was there anything else? I should get going. Of course. Perhaps we're in there a long time. Are you feeling all right? I'm fine. You worry too much. Sometimes I feel like you don't worry enough. You know we blew three more relays this week. I'm coming in. You stay right there. Hey, who are you? Was having a hard enough time keeping up with repairs before all this nonsense with the Um, I think it's downstairs. Acadia may not look like not much all from the outside. Once. Dearest Faraday, all some of us have got. relax. Kasumi Nakano? Sorry, I'm right in the middle of something. What's that you're working on? Just trying to cobble some pre-war junk into something usable. Now, do you mind telling me what you're doing here? I'm a detective. I was hired to find you. You... You're a what? You came all this way... for me? Look, my mom and dad... I, I mean, those people that were taking care of me, they wouldn't want me back. Not if they knew the truth. What do you mean? I am not their daughter. I'm a synth. I thought if I just left, it would be easier for them. How would that conversation have gone anyway? I've been lying to you this whole time. Your real daughter is dead, and I replaced her? <sighs> Ooh. We're going to probably have to F5, F9. That means save and reload. You haven't replaced anyone. Kenji and Ray are still your parents. I... Or I not. I really wish that was true. If I wasn't a synth, 
things would be so much simpler. Acadia isn't what I thought it was. There's more going on here than just the refuge. But I can't leave until I've gotten to the bottom of it. I've been running long enough. What kind of problem is there in Acadia? It's a long story. I just have to figure out how to... Wait. Wait, you find things. Track down answers. That's what you do, right? That's why you came after me. What if I told you that there's a secret? A big secret here on this island. Something way more important than just one lost girl. All right, I'm listening. Okay, where to begin? You saw all those computers that Dima's hooked up to, right? They hold his memories or offload data from his brain. Or maybe some combination of both? Well, Faraday asked me to help do some repairs on them. And, you know, I, I got curious. There's like a century's worth of life experiences in there. And that's when I see it. Data models Dima has been making. One was the fog taking over Far Harbor. Another was a nuclear detonation on the island. Plus, death counts. What if Dima is so open and welcoming because he's actually hiding something from us? A plan to wipe out the rest of the island. You don't trust Dima? After you came all this way for him? I didn't come to Acadia for him. I came here because this place offered answers. And now that I found a place I belong, I'd rather not lose it all if Dima is secretly planning to destroy everything. I'll help if I can. But that's not much to go on. I know. I've been working on that, but I haven't had much luck. I keep seeing Dima, Faraday, and Chase head into the laboratory at the other end of the hall. Then they come out later looking like they've been arguing. There's actually a storage space right next to there. It'd be a perfect spot to hide an eavesdrop, but it's been locked up. I've also tried breaking into Faraday's terminal, since he and Dima are so close, but the security on it is crazy. This will be easier if I just talk to Dima. Convince him that he needs to be honest with us. All right. Good luck. Let me know what you find out. I honestly felt that, like, talking to them might actually be... Ugh, um, it could help us, like, in the long run by not having to, you know, destroy everything. But it could also backfire. So we shall see. So where are the stairs? Wait, that's going down. Need to go up. You're new here too, huh? I'm... Aha, stairs. I kind of want to talk to them before we actually do anything. So, you've talked to Dima. You know why we're here. I certainly hope that you'll consider helping us. Dima's vision is worth fighting for. So, you're a sin? I am. I hope that's not a problem for you. Dima has worked hard to create a place for us where we can be safe from those who don't accept us. He's put so much of himself into this. All his time and energy devoted to helping others he never stops to think of himself sometimes i worry about well if i wasn't here to make sure his equipment is all functional and that's not even mentioning maintaining the fog condensers There's so many things to keep track of seems like he's lucky to have you help him thank you that's very kind can you tell me about the fog condensers? Oh, those? Dima and I designed them when it became clear the fog was only getting worse. They're effective, but have such a limited range. Dima insisted we provide them to the people of Far Harbor, and I'm so glad we did. 
Without the condensers, I'm not sure they'd have anywhere left. Dima looks like he's had a lot of work done. Well, that's certainly an understatement. Between the two of us, we've made so many modifications. He was just a prototype, never built for all this. It took a lot to overcome the limitations of the original design and expand his memory. It really is remarkable, isn't it? He's overcome so much. He's become so much more than he once was. And all he thinks of is others. If there's anything I can do to help out, just let me know. Well, if you're determined to help, there is something you could do. It's likely somewhat dangerous, though, so I understand if you'd rather not. There's a boat along the coast of the island. It was transporting some hardware we needed. Storage drives. The boat never finished the trip, you see. So the drives are still out there. I could really use them here for extra parts, if nothing else. My understanding is that the boat wrecked southwest of here. So, does this sound like something you could handle? What happened to the boat? Why didn't it make it? The island is dangerous, after all. F5, F9, boys. What happened to the boat? Why didn't it make it? I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. Trappers, fog crawlers, there's no end to what's out there. And what might still be out there. The point is that we already lost someone once. And I don't want to see that happen again. So, are you up for it? Sure thing, Faraday. I'll get the drives for you. Thank you. I really do appreciate it. Okay, um... That wasn't it. Help Chase. Who's Chase? I could hack it. I just, you know, rather talk to them. Level 43 hype. Maybe someday more places in the world will accept us for who we are. Um Is it back in here? Kind of want to do it, but then I'm not sure where to begin. It's like starting a new MMO and when you have like 30 different quests, you never know where to start. You kind of just get confused. Excuse me. You track Kasumi here. I'm impressed. Perhaps not as quietly or efficiently as possible, but thankfully she was never in any real danger. I'm afraid your journey was unnecessary. So, you're saying you could have done a better job of it? Didn't know it was a competition? Yes, absolutely. Acadia is a safe haven for synths. Were it not, I would not have aided anyone in reaching it. Every synth I've tracked down, every synth convinced to come here, has been assured that he or she will come to no harm. My job is to make sure they all remain safe, no matter what. Understand? How do you manage to track down synths and bring them here? I have a network of contacts throughout the area. Some from my time with the Institute, some after. I know the Institute's tactics and use that to my advantage. You have Dima's blessing, so by all means, make yourself comfortable. So what's your story? I used to be a courser, 
returning synths that had escaped from the Institute. I was tracking a synth and instead found Dima. He convinced me of the truth and the error of my ways. I rejected the Institute, made sure they couldn't track me, and dedicated my life to instead helping synths find freedom. I'd like to help you all. Is there anything I can do? Actually, as a matter of fact, there is. If you're serious about contributing, well, we've got a situation I need someone to look into. You've had some experience traveling around the island, so you may be decently equipped to handle it. What's the problem? We were expecting a new synth to arrive, and he should have been here by now. There's been no sign of him, and I'm concerned that he might have become lost on the way here. You have any leads on where he might be? You should start by talking to Brooks in Far Harbor. He's one of us, a synth. He's the one who meets the new arrivals and gets them started on the journey here. Of course, he's not likely to tell you anything without proof that you're working for me. If he doesn't cooperate, tell him that his designation is L-792. That should convince him. That's as much help as I can give you for now. Please, hurry. If that synth is out there alone, he won't last long. You seem sketchy. Hey, Dima. Yes. What is it? Oh my god. Kasumi says she's seen parts of your memories. Death projections. For Far Harbor and the center of the island. That's unfortunate. She should be focusing on herself. Her new life. She shouldn't have to bear the burden of the outside world. Please, this is a matter best left to me and my advisors. We aren't planning to destroy the island. Those projections were merely to help us realize the cost of inaction. If this thing involves the whole island, then you need help. I can be your problem solver if you let me in. I suppose there's something to be said about refusing help even when it's offered and you're in need. There's a conflict that's been brewing on this island shortly after we built Acadia. Between Far Harbor and the Children of Atom. Simply put, they want to kill each other. And each side wants us to help them. We've tried to stay neutral. But Far Harbor was going to be wiped out by the fog. So that's when we built the condensers for them. And I was friends with the previous leader of the Children of Atom, Confessor Martin. I even gave them their headquarters, the submarine base they named the Nucleus. Which was a mistake, because Martin is gone and the new confessor, Tectus, is completely insane. He's been threatening us to force us to choose a side. I left behind something very important in that submarine base I gave them. Dima's earliest memories are stored in the military computer banks in that base. Pre-war security systems and Confessor Martin's goodwill were supposed to keep them safe. But now Tectus is in charge, and he's after Dima's memories. We don't even know what's in them. But we do know that I spent nearly a century on this island alone. Whatever's in there is too dangerous to allow Tectus to get his hands on them. So what can I do to help? If you're willing to retrieve what I've lost, and bring my memories back to me, then we'd all be one step closer to solving this conflict without bloodshed. You'll have to get through the Children of Adam's base. You're new on the island, so you might be able to pose as a recruit. Then, once you get to the memory banks, you'll have to use a special program Dima and I have been working on to break through the security systems. It's not going to be like a normal hack. You'll be breaking through a version of my own mental network It'll consider you to be an intruder. I've loaded the program with some instructions I've recorded that will help guide you through it. I'm afraid it's difficult to explain without seeing it for yourself. So how does this program work? There will be a fairly ordinary looking terminal with some attachments. The program will give you access to the terminal. Once you attempt to obtain a memory, your perspective might shift a little. Just relax then. The program will explain things to you as you need them. 
I'll get your memories, Diva. If we're lucky, the pre-war defenses have kept the Children of Atom at bay. But that means you'll have to get past them yourself. One more thing before you leave. Whatever you do, don't assault the Children of Atom directly. Our ultimate goal must be to bring peace. If you attack them, they'll consider themselves at war with the outside world. I see. You know, when you watch movies and there's a guy that's always a little too nice, usually you want to keep an eye out on them. Let's go talk to her. Turns out Dima's earliest memories are in the hands of the children of Adam. He's afraid of what they're going to find. So... Is that what those death projections were about? It wasn't Dima planning to destroy the island. He's worried the children of Adam will. Or is he still hiding something? What could be in those memories that he would leave them behind? Is there really something in them that's dangerous? Do you have a way in? Into his memories? Assuming you can get past the children of Adam, of course. I got this program that Faraday and Dima wrote. It's supposed to help me access the memory banks. Really? How would that work? When I was taking a peek in the computers he has here, Dima was hooked up to his chair. I was just tapping into it. I wonder if you'll need to, you know, connect to the old banks the way he does? Some kind of connection between your head and the computer. Oh, but that's it. And then Faraday's program would be translating Dima's thoughts and data helping you through any security guarding it. I'm sorry, I'm making assumptions. It's just, well, it's a little exciting, isn't it? You'll let me know what you find? I'll keep an eye on things here. I'll get Dima's memories, and then we'll figure things out from there. Good luck. Why are you giving me so much money? I just want a lot of XP. Take your money back. All right, so let's see. Um, gain access to the terminal. Alrighty.